it's so long, my hair's getting long. Alright guys, welcome back to my channel. Hopefully you guys can hear me well. My road mic decided to just die on me, so I have to buy a new battery for it. So today I will be showing you guys how I apply my extensions. I've been a hairstylist for nine years, so it takes me not that long to apply them. I will be talking to you guys about my maintenance on my extensions, what extensions I use, and how long I use them for. So I work at a wig store in my hometown, and that is where I began making wigs and toupees and whatnot, and then I fell in love with these. I have way more depending on what color my hair is and since it's been my, my natural hair color I just decided to do these. So the type of hair that I have here is Indian hair. It is by a brand named Remy I believe. I've had these for a really long time. I absolutely love the texture of this hair. It feels so good. I've had this hair for a very very long time and I don't know if you can tell but I tend to sew them. Again, when I do them for clients, it's much more professional looking. But since it's for me, it don't matter, right? Oh, with white threads, so you can definitely see it. So what I tend to do is buy two packets of 18 inch, one packet of 16 inch, and one packet of 14 inch. Each packet costs roughly 100, 150. Since I do have a lot of hair, I do need about two packets. So this here is probably 300 grams of hair it's it's pretty thick it's very thick and yes people extensions get split ends I tell them they get split ends even though it's not alive it still damages the hair so the colors I have right now are four and six my natural right now is this is my natural hair color currently and it is a level three with a little bit of four and this is like dye that was done a very long time ago I tend to have four brackets the smallest one is goes on my nape. I have another one that goes right above it, which layers and stacks like that. And then I have the two on the side, and the ones on the sides tend to be a little bit thicker just because I have so much hair. So this is goes on the left, and this one goes on the right. The thing on my hair extensions, I don't wash them. When they tend to get icky, when I feel like they tend to get icky, I actually end up unsewing this and adding a new bracket of hair. So this has one, two, three, four, five, six brackets or lines, you would say, of hair. And I end up taking the ones that I feel that are really, really dry. So these, this is the one that's on my nape, and this tends to feel very, very dry. So what I do is unsew these and just add brand new hair to it. And that is how I maintain them. I do trim them and I do thin out the ends as well to give that nice soft feel to them. The only oil I really love on my extensions and doesn't make it feel gross and dirty is my Matrix Oil Wonders. Any of the, the four that they have. This one is Egyptian Hibiscus and I absolutely love it. It is always my go-to. I'm recording! Let me go ahead and just show you guys how I do my extensions. All right, so before I start applying my extensions, these are the three products I put in my hair. So this one I put in my hair before and after and in my extensions. This is my heat protector that I put prior to blow drying it when my hair is damp. And this is a heat buffer by Matrix as well. And this is my absolutely favorite back home in a bottle. So this is what a tea back home in a bottle by Big Sexy Hair. What I do is just start off by sectioning my hair. Hopefully I'm going to focus. I just like to, I'm going to do it to the side so you guys can see both profiles. So I just section off my hair. I'm going to say about two inches from my nape. So I section that off. And it's something like this. I clip it up and what I will be using is a one inch curling iron by Babelist Pro that I purchased at my beauty supply store. You can get these anywhere. And then I tend to curl it all back and I hold it for a few seconds just so I can freeze the curl. 
and do the same on the other side. So I hold it for a few seconds and then I let it go. So once I'm done with that, I grab my, so once I'm done with that, I grab my back home in a bottle, I spray the suction, I grab my comb, and I tease it back. You want to make sure that you don't tease it too hard. Very light hand. This guy is like cement, so it will really back. It will definitely back home. My new layer my little baby hairs will not be showing then I proceed to grab the one that goes closest to the nape which is this one because this one's lighter at the bottom clips are open and voila so I will be doing that for the rest of my hair Remember, I curl everything back, curl it all back, and I hold it for a few seconds, and I just let it go. I don't break my curl until my extensions are completely in. And if you can see, I like to do it kind of mid-shafts down, curl back, let it go. tell that it's too curly here and my extensions aren't that curly with my one inch GHD straightening iron I tend to I'm going to grab that little section and kind of loosen up the curls and add it in very little because loosen up the curls a little bit just loosen up the curls we're going to go back into that and curl the extensions a little bit more and brush them out and it loosens it up So now that I'm halfway done, what I like to do is section the front and curl it to have this little short piece mix in better.
upper right here. Looks like that. I section the back. Make everything go back. So I'll grab this section, split it into two, and curl it back. And again, kind of just the ends. I start working from side to side. So let's start this way. section which is like a U I straighten half of it like you saw me and then I curl it but down kind of downward to give me the swoop and when I mean downward it's down and forward so I get that side swoop and it goes down so when I grab it, I go down and forward. a little bit of a finishing touch of the oil to finish up this look. And I like to go ahead and just pat it in and on the roots, drag it through the frizzy. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is how I apply my extensions. It's simple, fast. It usually takes me 20 minutes, but since I'm recording for you guys, it took me a little bit longer. If you guys have any questions, please make sure to leave them down below. Make sure to subscribe, comment, and share. Help my baby channel grow. Don't make your girl beg like she always does. Make sure to follow me on Instagram. Mina Physique should be around here, like usual. As always, good vibes from my heart to yours, and... Uh, Voila! Maher.